welcome back to RTS and welcome back to another Review the Supply. <laughs> yes, we're going to talk about these beautiful, colorful, nice Nouveau Crystal Drops, okay? Now we have a lot to talk about, so I'm not going to jimmy jaw. <laughs> I'm going to get right to it. Yes, so I put most of these up, but this is what I'm talking about. These little, these little Crystal Drops by Tonic Studios. Okay, now I wrote a page of notes because, you know, I'll go down a rabbit hole, I'll get to playing, and then I won't, I won't remember because I had some people ask me, could you please show them because in my embellishment, or no, my color category, when we had Summer Space Shape Up, this was a category we talked about. It was Nouveau Crystal Drops in our color category. Okay, so I have some things laying here. So I think I pretty much have everything ready. Okay, now they come in a cute little <laughs> cute little bottle. Of course, you know, that's, that's us, right? We want that cute. Very, very cute. Okay, so now this is a supply. I'm going to put a couple here so we can see. Let's, uh, let's play with some of these three colors. Okay, you know. And I was saying in another video, I use these sometimes to come up with color combinations. Yes, so I'll put these here, okay? And I hope I have room. Okay. I think so. Yes, okay. So that's what we got going on. Okay, beautiful, beautiful colors. Okay, summer colors, yes. Okay, so they're made by Tonic Studios. So if you go to look for them under store, you may not see them listed under N for Nouveau Crystal Drops. You may see them under T under Tonic Studios because Tonic Studios has a huge category now of Nouveau products, okay? And so that's where you'll probably find them is under T Tonic, T-O-N-I-C, Tonic Studios. And I'll have a couple things listed below. So with Nouveau Crystal Drops, okay? Now they have, just in the Crystal Drops, they have a subcategory, but there's three types of this product, okay? You're gonna have Crystal Drops, and then you're gonna have Glitter Drops, and then you're gonna have Jewel Drops, okay? Now I do not have a single Glitter Drop, nor do I have a single Jewel, J-E-W-E-L, Jewel Drop, okay? Because Glitter is Glitter, and Jewel is kind of like what we used to call back in the day as dew drops. Okay, and I don't use either one of those because they really don't fit my style, so I don't have either one of those, okay? But I use the crystal drops. Now, within the crystal drops, <sighs> yes, there's three subcategories, yes. So they're just not crystal drops. So within the crystal drops is what, is what you see here, okay? You're going to have gloss, metallic and clear. Now, if I'm thinking right, now, let me put this here. If I'm thinking right, and I can say right now, and I'll have this listed below. I'm gonna move something here. You can go, and I'll have it listed below, is in on the Nouveau, no, on Tonic Studios website, they have color charts you can download and you can fill them in if you wish to, okay? Now, I don't do, color swatches for this type of thing but if you have a lot of Nouveau products this would be absolutely wonderful and I'll have the link below for that so there's the glitter drops and you can see there's one two three four five what six twelve about um uh, fourteen of those and they have the colors okay and then in the jewel drops and they call that a translucent effect. And that's what we called dew drops back in the day. Okay, and there's eight of those, okay? And it's marked T for translucent, translucent, and that's in the jewel drops, okay? So we have glitter drops. We have what you know what glitter is. And all you have to do is shake that a little bit, put it down, make a drop, and have some glitter in it. But I don't use that, okay? Because I have stickles in my inventory, and I don't use them a lot, so I thought there's no sense looking at that category when I have stickles that I haven't used, okay? But some of you like glitter, some of you like jewel, and these are a translucent effect, and I don't really care for that in my style. And then you see what we have, the crystal drops. And you can see there's a lot more crystal drops than anything else. But I will have the link below. You can download it color charts for basically any Nouveau product, okay? Now, I didn't think these were the easiest to download. No, I had to cup, jump through a couple hoops to get them, but it is what it is. It's a free color chart. So within the crystal drops, you're going to see that there's three. There's the gloss, metallic, and clear. And what I would say, if you have this product, 
I would say at least download this even if you don't use it as a color swatch because it'll help you tell well, according to Nuvo which one they consider gloss and which one they consider metallic and which one they consider clear. Now clear from what I gather all they have is morning dew and I'm pretty sure I have that. That's I don't know if I did mor morning dew. No, I don't think I've, well, maybe this one. And I'm looking at them. And I will tell you, of course, now I bought these not as soon as they came out, but pretty close. And I'm just looking to see if I have that morning dew. I think that was the one I skipped over because when I first started looking at these, I was only interested in the gloss ones. And when I first started to buy these, I thought anything that was in the crystal drops was the gloss. Now, gloss to me is what I would consider the look of enamel dots. Okay. Now, how do I want to say that? Okay. I'm looking at my notes. Okay. So you can download a color chart. The link will be below. I'm going to try to go by my notes. Okay. So the price. Okay, so the price, and this is a one ounce bottle, is $3. Okay, that's the price. You can get them on sale. Sometimes you can find them on Joann's at half off, okay, which is how I bought mine in spurts. Okay, and then also they have a bigger size in some of these, not all of them, in some of them, which would be two ounces for $6. So if you know you're going to use it and it's a color they have, you know, think, of, especially if Joann's would have the big size, but, you know, I don't know if they do. So, now one thing I want to say about these crystal drops right off the bat, okay, is that if you are expecting them to be enamel dots, these beautiful things right here, if you're expecting them to be this, then don't even bother because they're not enamel dots. They're not going to be enamel dots. They're not going to work like enamel dots, okay? So, these are called crystal drops and that's what they are crystal drops so I want you to think of this product as an embellishment not an enamel dot because it's two different things okay and so I think that is why some people don't like them is because they're expecting this and we all love this love we all love enamel dots okay and when crystal drops first hit the market Everybody was thinking, oh, this is going to be so much cheaper than enamel dots. And it is, in theory, as far as adding color to a layout or a card or a craft project. But, in reality, it is not an enamel dot. Because an enamel dot is on a transfer sheet, right? You can put it wherever you want it. Crystal Drops was designed to go direct to paper. Okay, so right off the bat, that, there is a difference. It is not an enamel dot, not going to be an enamel dot, and it does not work like an enamel dot. This is an embellishment in and of itself in its own little party. Yes, okay. Now, also with crystal drops, well, I'll probably talk about that in a minute. I have all these notes. Now, with the glitter and the jewel, okay, what did I want to say? For the glitter ones, okay, just pretend this is a glitter. You have to shake it a little bit because then a lot of people don't realize that they just go to make a drop. No, you have to shake it. It's kind of like mist and sprays. With your glitter Nouveau drops, you have to shake it a little bit, okay? Now, with the crystal drops, I'm going to show you something. This is on white paper. But when you use a crystal drop, what you see is what you're going to get, okay? Now, with your glitter and your, and your jewel, drop it's going to I don't want to say translucent but the paper underneath your glitter or your jewel drop will be change the look of those two drops does that make sense your crystal drops okay because it doesn't matter if you use them on white paper or black paper what you see is what you're going to get that is not the case with the glitter or the jewel drop so you do have to keep that in mind because you have to pay attention to what your style is and what you like what you don't like I'm the type of person if this is the type of paper I have that's what I want to see I don't want to put a product on there that changes the look of my paper which is probably why I use washi in a different type of manner okay so you have to consider that if you like the look of glitter then you'll like them if you like the the look of embellishments changing the look of the background on your paper, then jewel, you know, we called them dew drops back in the day, but that's what jewel drops by Nouveau looks like, okay? But these are crystal, okay? So with crystal, 
it doesn't matter what paper you use, it's going to look the same. I hope that made sense. <laughs> okay. Now, there's a variety of colors, and you can look on the color chart. There's quite a few. Okay, now I don't own every one of them because the metallics I bought last, and those are the ones I like least. Yes. <laughs> okay. Because I don't think... Now, remember what I said. In the crystal drop category, there is clear, metallic, and gloss. Okay? The gloss, I love with a capital L. The metallics, not so much. Okay? And I'm going to show... We're just going to play a little bit. Okay? And that's what we're going to do. Now, if you would happen to have a problem with your crystal... Any Nuvo product, okay? Or anything by tonic that, okay? You can email them, tell them what your product problem is, and I guarantee they'll help answer it if not, you know, give you a replacement or tell you what to do or give you some advice, okay? And I had a pair of tonic scissors one time that was a problem. Email them, sent me a replacement because the 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 hinge or the screw, there's something wrong with it, okay? So they have good support, customer service, so I will put that in the description box below. So if you're having a problem, rather than ditch it, see if the manufacturer will help you. Okay, and I'll have that listed below. Okay, so how you would apply these, okay? And I'm going to show you, I'll show you this right now. I'll put on a bigger piece of paper. Now as far as colors, basically what you see represented here is what you get except for one color and that is the red color now I have here red berry and I have autumn red and this is rhubarb but to me rhubarb to me in real life is not a red some people think it is but in my I in my brain I don't see it as a red okay to me I see it as a more like a a purple pink type thing you know rhubarb I'm thinking rhubarb out of the garden Yes. Okay. Wouldn't that be a story to record? Have you ever made a rhubarb pie out of the garden? Okay. So moving on. So that's rhubarb. And I'm not going to, I'll put those three here. Okay. So that to me, I think with every other color, what you think you're going to get, you're going to get. The greens are maybe a little off on screen as to what you get, but basically they're the same. Okay. But I want to show the reds because now I've been on a spending freeze and I haven't bought any of this for over a year, but to me, they don't have a red. They do not have a red. I will show you what red berry looks like. Red berry looks like this one. Okay? Now, that really does look like a little red berry, but it's not a red that I use a lot. Okay? Now, the next one is, um, is and that's red berry. Okay? And that's that first one right there, red berry. Okay? Now, the second one is autumn red. And I thought, okay, when this one came out, I thought, mm, we're going to get a red. No, to me, this is like a burgundy red. Okay? Maybe that's what they call an autumn red. Okay, so maybe I should back up and say red berry is red berry, autumn red is autumn red, but they don't have a red. <laughs> they don't have like a barn door red. <laughs> no. Okay, now this is the third one. That's rhubarb crumble. Okay, now, to me that's a purple pink. All of those are very lovely colors, but I want a red. I want a red, like a fire engine red. I want a red. Yes. I guess we're so used to Tim Holtz coming out with good reds. So I like all those, but I wish there was a better red. Everything else, perfect as far as color. Okay, now we're going to talk about these little things here in just a minute. Okay, so you can see the different samples. And so to me, gloss is gloss. Okay, now they are perfect. I love them. Now when you get into the metallics, not so much. I don't think they work as good. Okay, and so even though they're a crystal drop and you would think all crystal drops work the same, and I'll put this just a tad closer, and I'll keep it there for a little bit so you can see. Those gloss are just beautiful, okay? And then the metallics, this would be a gold, a silver, and then I have like a copper, and I'll tell you what they call that. They call that a copper penny, okay? Those are all nice, okay? But... Eh, they're hard, and I'm going to show. I'm going to show you why I think they're hard, okay? And I'll talk about this black here in just a minute. Okay, so I'm going to go to a one that is called Carnation Pink, and that says on here it's a gloss, okay? But I recommend downloading that color swatch, and then you'll know before you order which ones are gloss, which ones are metallic. In my opinion, my opinion only, the gloss work exactly, I think, as what they intended. The metallics, mm, you got to put a little boob muscle, in, muscle into it. It's not exactly, 
Not exactly. Okay, now I'm hoping that you'll be able to see. Now, there really is only one trick. It's not even a trick. It's just the way to use it. When you go to use a crystal drop, you go straight up and down. You don't go slanted. Okay? Now, some people would say you're supposed to use them as slanted so you don't get that Hershey Kiss looking at the top. No, that's not correct. Okay? Tonic suggests that you use it up and down, and that's how I was taught at the very beginning, and I have never had any problem. Straight up and down. Okay? Now, you may not be able to see what I'm going to do, but you'll see that my bottle is straight up and down. Okay? And do you see that I'm not moving it? I'm squeezing it. Okay? Look how simple that is. Okay? Now, I'm going to hold the paper up, and I'm going to see <laughs> if you can maybe get a better angle. We'll see. And so all I'm doing, I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just squeezing. Ugh, they didn't turn out right. Yeah, I moved them. Okay. Oh, but they look like little Easter eggs. <laughs> yeah. So you're going direct to paper, and you're keeping it straight up and down, and you don't have to really move your bottle until you're moving it in another spot. See? Look how quick. Okay. Now, I will say for my personal style and for what I like, and you can see from this right here, I think the smaller you do them, the better they look. In this case, the bigger is not better, my opinion. Okay. So I'll put that a little closer. Look how easy. I didn't see no Hershey Kisses on there. You know why? Because the gloss does not give you that. Now, let's go with metallic. Okay. Now, let me pick gold because that will probably show up. Where's my gold? And they call it a bright gold. Okay. And that's really all you have to know how to use them is go direct to paper. Now, the downfall is you have to make sure you have dry time. So I'll talk about that in just a minute. So I am not prepping this. I'll take my bracelet off there. I'm not prepping this. I'll probably put that there and lose that. Ooh, not good. Okay. So I'm going straight up and down, and I'm not prepping this. Okay, straight up and down. See, I'm not doing it as slant. Straight up and down. Okay. Now, those didn't turn out too bad. Okay, and I didn't prep that at all. Okay, that was just using as is. Now, sometimes I'll wipe this little top, and I'll talk about that in just a minute. But let me get the silver. Or let's do copper. Copper will show up. And again, I, I don't have this prepped. I'm just taking off the lid and using it. Okay, so you see where I'm at? See? I'm pushing and pushing. <sighs> yes, the metallics, I think, are a heavier formulation than the gloss. And I think that's the problem. I mean, look at that. I'm having to squeeze with two hands. I didn't have to do that with the others. And then you see what I get? I get that Hershey Kiss top. Yes. And so that, in my opinion, is why some people don't like these. It's because they got metallics, and they're like, well, they don't work so great. No, because I agree, the metallics don't work so great. The gloss, yeah, the gloss is where it's at. The gloss crystal drops. My opinion. Okay? Now, I'm going to shake this a little bit. I'm going to put the lid on. I'm going to shake it for a tad and see what comes up with. Okay? Now, if I have to really fiddle and fart around with a product, I'm not going to use it. I'm just going to be honest. I want to grab and go. So now I, <laughs> see, I shook that. Oh, look at that. Look at that hot mess. That looks like a cone. Yeah, that, that in me, that don't work. No. So again, the metallics, and I wish, wish someone would have told me or showed me that to begin with. I'm just glad that when I first started, I only bought a couple, and I bought whatever season I was in, and I think it was summer, because I remember I bought orange. Yes, orange and a yellow and a pink. I think those are the three I bought, and I'm glad I did, because they were gloss, and I fell in love with them. And so then I started to get a couple more gloss, what I thought was gloss. Yes, I wish this color chart would have been available when I started, because if you look... And some of these metallics is raspberry pink. Some of the purples are metallics. And the navy blue. Okay, so we're going to do a navy blue. So these metallics, not my favorite. No. Will I purge them? No. But if I don't use them by this time next year, I will be purging them because I don't care for them. Okay, so I'm going to try here a, a gloss midnight blue. Okay, so we're going to look again at a gloss, not a metallic. Okay. 
And guess what I have? I have a clog, so we might as well talk about that right now. Okay, so if you have a clog, and I noticed that this blue is known for that. I don't know why, okay? And it's my favorite blue, okay? So when you have a clog, what you do is you, you just take a pin and do, make sure your pin has a stopper on it, okay? This is what they just call a hat pin. Because if not, it's going to go straight through, okay? And then just run that down if you can, okay? Now here's what I want to show. Oh, what did I do with it? This is how big of a clog I had in that yesterday. You see that right there? That blue? That's how big that clog was. Yeah, that ain't making mama happy. No, I won't I won't I won't mess around with that. Okay, and there was another clog. Look at that. No. I will not mess around with a product that keeps having a clog. No. So I wanted a blue. I got a blue. Not really happy with the blue. Okay. Because you have to be careful. First of all, gotta have wipes, gotta have wipes. First of all, you have to be careful when you do this because when you push that in, and I have done this one time with a glossy accent years ago, I pushed that pin in and it went to the side and guess what it did? Went right into my finger. So not only did I ruin the nozzle, I ruined my finger. Well, I didn't ruin it, but you know what? It didn't feel good. So this has a clog. So what do you do? You have to mess around with this. And I will tell you this is not the norm but it is a factor to consider. Okay, now you have to be careful and hold this bottle when you're doing this because I'll tell you, and I've read this a couple times, you know what happened? When you're pulling that pin up, and I'll see if I can do this because I like to show people what really, what's up, okay? If you pull that pin up too much, and because there's a clog, you're gonna take this top with you and guess what could happen? Yes, you know, that's an accident waiting to happen right there. So you do have to consider that when you get a clog, I would suggest make sure you have a mat or something down to protect your surface because when you're pushing that pin in, and I can see where my clog is. You see it? It's right there. So I'm just messing around with this. And I will see, and that way you could see on camera how long it takes to unclog something. And again, Hold this very securely and hold the very base of that nozzle at the same time because it will come off and you're going to have a problem. Ask me how I know. Yeah, because it came off one time. Now, fortunately, I didn't have a mess, but I did see a gal who did have a mess and she wasn't happy either. Okay, so let me see if it works. Okay, so there you saw a clog. You saw what I did. Now, that is worth it. I don't like having a clog, but once you know what to do, you use a pin. What did I just do with it? Use a pin that has a stopper or, you know, something you can, uh, you know, hold it securely. Okay. You don't want to use this type of pin. Okay. I'll get my little tomato here. You don't want to use this type of pin because it goes down there. You're not going to be able to be able to hold that coming back up. Oops. I just almost took out a light. Oh, so, and then also too, when you're doing your clog, put your fingers at the very bottom of that base to get that, and I probably can't see, sorry. I couldn't see, I still can't see. And that way you can push it in and out. Okay, now with my glossy accents, I had showed a tip that I had learned and that every time you use it, wipe it. I, I have been doing that and I don't know if it makes a difference or not. Okay? I really don't. But this, what what did I tell you? This midnight blue? Yes. This one clogs on me. Every single time. And I think it's maybe because, maybe it's thicker. Maybe a darker color needs a darker, more pigment something. Your guess is as good as mine. But it is really pretty. It is worth it. And that's about the darkest blue I'm going to get. I mean, okay, so now that was midnight blue. Let's try navy blue. Because, you know, we have to know these navies or these, you know, these blues. Okay. Now, I will tell you, the blues seem thicker. And all I'm doing is going up and down. And you can see what happened there. Yes, I'm going to talk about that in just a minute. Okay, I'm going to wipe this off. Okay. So... 
this is midnight blue on the left right there and this is navy blue on the right now do you see a difference this even though I had a clog with this this navy blue which is this one right here I'll point to it this one right here that's a metallic the metallics are harder to push and I can't this is what I'm dealing with with metallics this little uh, do drop Hershey kiss top and then this what is this what are you supposed to do with that oh <sighs> aggravating okay so again crystal drops in the gloss effect love metallic effect not so much okay now so that was some samples so again how do you do it go direct to paper up and down I mean look at that look how quick that is now that is how you do it yes again this is gloss and what color is this just for you to crushed gray yes it's purple ladies grab it okay now I'm going to show you that you think oh those look a little a little wonky we'll show you that in just a minute okay so here's some different colors here are your different samples so what you run into with the metallics it's a crapshoot you don't know what you're going to get and you have to push a little harder I don't like that okay look at that one yeah you're not going to do anything with that this the ones that are gloss they work more smoothly they work easier the black is a gloss too but sometimes it's a little difficult now in the black I did show that you can try to make shapes but you have to remember that crystal drops was made to be in a drop format they were not make they were not designed to make shapes and people will try to make shapes and then they say with crack yes because they're not made to be in a shape they're made to be a drop and in my opinion I think so that is what crystal drops work better as in a drop form drop and go drop and go okay and so sometimes if you do have something like this you can make it go a little further and look like it was intended but no if I'm using this product I want to drop yes okay now these were the three reds I had showed okay now let me go over my notes just for a minute okay so I talked about the cracking because that was a lot of co a complaint that other people talked about well yes when you go to make shapes and you start to write with them they're gonna crack because they weren't made for that okay now I think even tonic studios advertises that you can make them into shapes uh, that no I think they should be made in drop form and that's it and I think that's the best they look and I also think they look the smaller they are not that I'm saying you have to go tiny but when you get bigger I think they don't look as nice my opinion okay now some people say well when you do them you gotta flick them underneath no you do not flick okay because you saw in all of those I didn't have to flick any of these what we're used to okay is when we had a product called liquid pearls and you know exactly what I'm talking about liquid pearls this was many moons ago okay liquid pearls okay now when you use liquid pearls and you know what I'm gonna talk about see you got that Hershey kiss top and you had to flick them underneath that's why I use them because I don't want to have to flick a product no mm -mm, mm -mm, mm -mm. and you see they still have that Hershey kiss top that's what I wanted to show the difference this was right out of the bottle with no flicking this is liquid pearls and I didn't flick but that's the effect you get okay and I probably am going to pay, purge them soon because that's just not I don't care for that no I don't care for that at all no no you know no I just don't care for them okay so that's what I want to talk about now here's the other thing some people don't like them because they say they don't dry in my opinion this is an embellishment that you use at the end of your card or layout process and they need to dry overnight not two hours not four four hours not eight overnight yes because I think that's the best okay so when I'm using this on a layout because that's what I use them for or a card I get everything done I need and then this is I use and then it completely sits aside do not stack them of course lay it lay it aside and you go back to it the next day okay and you have to lay it somewhere where there's no fur babies or small babies because one little touch they're they're messed up okay now also too some people said they didn't like them because they didn't get rock hard now if you see with an enamel dot 
if you take your finger, no, it's sliding off. You can't put an indentation in an enamel dot. What people were expecting was that you could do the same thing. Now, these have dried overnight. Some people were thinking you could do the same thing with that. No, if you push hard enough, and I'm pushing pretty good, you're going to get an indentation because it's not an enamel dot. It's not going to be an enamel dot. It's not going to work like an enamel dot. This is a different type of embellishment, okay? And I think that's why some people fell out of love with them. Okay, it's an embellishment. Just think of it as an extra treatment. Okay, so they some people say, well, they didn't they didn't dry rock hard. And I think some of the people that found they weren't drying rock hard, first of all, they're not going to be hard, but I tell you what, I can stack them on a layer, put them in an album, I have no problem with them at all. The gloss ones, metallic, you know how I feel about them, okay? They, there could be an improvement, okay? But the gloss, yeah, that's where it's at. So what was I saying? Some people were saying they didn't dry at all, whether no matter if they were jewel or glitter or gloss or metallic. And I think it's because you have to, your climate may have something to do with it, okay? It's just like anything else. Some th in the areas work better than other areas of the country. So consider the climate as well, okay? Now, what was the other thing? Some people were saying that they didn't get rock hard, but yet they weren't going direct to paper. So what they were doing is they were putting them on that Tim Holtz uh, mixed media um, brown mat that we have, and they were putting them on there, waiting for them to dry, and then they wanted to pull them off and use them like an enamel dot. No, that's not what they're designed for. What they're designed for is to go direct to paper. It's not put them on a transfer sheet and then play with them later. No, okay? But I can show you perler beads real quick at the end of the video if you want to see them, okay? Now that's what you can do, okay? So again, gloss is where it's at. Metallic, mm, no. I'm not, not crazy about them. Okay, now what's the last of my notes? I went over the reds. Again, this looks like a red berry, autumn red. That's a burgundy to me. They shouldn't have red in there. This should be a burgundy. And the rhubarb is definitely a rhubarb. Okay. And also, to the comparison to liquid pearls, you can see this is the Nouveau Crystal Drops. This is liquid pearls. Two different products, two different finishes, two different applications. And you're going to get two different results. Yes. And this is why my liquid pearls are basically still brand new. They're full bottles because I didn't care for it. I'm glad I only bought a few. <laughs> and that's what I suggest. Okay? Is no matter what product you're buying, something like this, because you know we want to get all the colors. Yes. Buy a couple at a time. Maybe just one. See how you like it. But what I did is I didn't jump on the bandwagon when they first came out. I went and did some research and some reading. And I like when people give their honest opinion. Not everything is sunshine and flowers. No. Sometimes, and I'll just tell you, metallic, no, I wouldn't bother buying them. That's my opinion. Yes. Okay, so what's the what's the pros and the cons? At the end of the day, the price, you can't beat $3 versus $3. Okay, there's there's your comparison. $3, $3. Oh, actually, that's not even accurate. These are $4.99 now. So that's three, $3.99, 4 to $5 now for a pack of enamel dots. Ooh. But, you know, there's a certain other place you can go and you get them for about $1.25 a sheet, okay? Or you can wait till stores have them on sale, okay? But this, but it, you can't really compare apples and oranges because this is an apple and this is an orange. Yeah, two different, two different categories, okay? But this is what people like. This is not that, okay? It's just an embellishment. Think of these as like liquid pearls but have a nicer finish, okay? Uh, let's see, and they're economical, $3. The con, you just saw, they clog, okay? The con is the metallics. Now, those gold, that's not bad, but you don't know what you're going to get, okay? And then also, too, the con is you can't just open it and go. You have to, when you open it, you have to prepare it. What do we want to say? I was going to say burp it. <laughs> But you have to prepare this a little bit. You have to open it up, do a little, you know, a couple on a piece of scrap because it may have air in it, may have a clog. And I did see where one gal had pushed really hard. That nozzle popped off and she had one heck of a mess. So that's a con too, okay? Clogs, you have to consider that. You have to burp it. You have to give it a little bit of test run before you go. And the drying time. Okay, that I think to me is the biggest downfall because I like making fast pages. I like making completed pages and I'm have to revisit again something the next day. <sighs> but it's just drying time. But, you know, it's one of those things 
you like to be one and done. And this you have to open, you have to put it on, you have to wait it to dry, make sure you don't make a mistake, which I'll talk about that in just a minute. And then, so this would be a product that I would say you don't take to crops because how are you going to do it? And then lay it somewhere, you know, space is limited anyways. And then how are you going to bring it home? No, this is not a product for crops, not at all. So to me, that's a con. Now, I wanted to show something, okay? So again, that's gloss, metallic. I don't need to keep going over that. <laughs> yes, but that is my general consensus. If you're going to buy crystal drops, stick with the gloss, forget the metallics. You're going to be limited to colors, but... You know, maybe Tonic will get with the program there. Okay. But Tonic is a great company. Okay. Yes. Okay. So what I wanted to show is what happens is if you have something like that or you put it on a piece of paper and you don't like it, but it's a whole layout. Oh, that's what you have to consider. Okay. So that's what I wanted to do next. What color shall we play with? How about a couple greens? We haven't played with greens. Okay. Now how I have mine stored. And people use a lot of, um, these seem to fit on like little makeup, little trays. People seem to like that. I just have this in just a little box. I got it Tuesday morning. I just stick them in there and have them near my desk. Okay. Because this is one of those things, if I have this in a color group, like in a box somewhere, I won't use it. Okay. They have to be pretty near for me. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this color is a apple green in gloss. Okay. So I'm just going up and down. Let me put this a little closer. Okay. And you see how easy, I didn't even burp it. <laughs> okay. Look at that. Gloss is where it's at. Now I'm going to make a big one so you can see the difference. Okay. Now that'll settle down in just a minute. So that was one thing I'll say right off the back, so, bat. Some of us are used to flicking things. No, you don't flick them. They're not supposed to. If you have to flick, flick them, then it's not working. Okay. So that was apple green. Very, very pretty. Okay, now let me try a another gloss, woodland green, and see, I'm getting that little Hershey kiss, but wait in just a minute. You probably didn't even see that it went so fast. There was a little bit of a Hershey kiss. It took like it looked like it was going to land there, but it didn't. Just they've just. <laughs> Whatever they have as far as their enamel or acrylic or whatever works very good. Now, do I have, I have bottle green. Now, bottle green, let me just double check to make sure I don't say anything wrong. Bottle green, and I'm looking at this chart right here. Where did I just see this? <sighs> Apple green. Why are these not in? I think these came out with and the order in which they were produced. Oh, heavens to Betsy. Where is it at? What am I looking for? Bottle green. Why don't, oh, there it is. Okay, now this is a metallic, okay? Because you'll see, they'll have the word gloss if they're a gloss. So I haven't prepped this, haven't opened it. Let's see what happens, okay? Oh, it's gonna prove me wrong. Look, now see that's a metallic green. It's called bottle green. Well, now that just went as easy as anything. Oh, uh, maybe it's just a couple colors, but that turned out really nice. That was a metallic. So there you go. Prove me wrong on that one. Okay, what, do I have another green? No, but let's do some fall colors. Let's do a dark walnut. Now this is gloss, so I would suspect that this goes nice. Easy peasy. Oh, yes. Oh, there we go. Okay. That's what I wanted to show anyways. Oh, I'm too busy talking. Okay, so what I wanted to show is, what if you have something and it did not turn out right? Okay, you can do one of two things. You can quickly, and this is just a nail care stick. I use them a lot. You can try to scrape that up. Okay, and I'm using this edge right here on my nail art. It's got a beveled edge. So what you can do is try to kind of just scrape it up. Okay, now if it's going to leave a, a mark, which it is, so what you do put a sticker over it <laughs> honestly what else are you going to do because i don't want a dot that big okay let me see if i can get the brown this brown off okay and i'm using a wipe and i have done that before and it has helped but i'm still going to see that okay so you can do one of two things and i'll try it again okay 
Now that brine's pretty thick. <gasps> and that's a gloss. Yes. Well, I'm telling you, I still like the, I still like the gloss. Okay. But see, that give me a little wiggle and a little thing. Yeah. Again, you can just take a nail art or a stylus or something, wipe that up just like you would like a little spill on the countertop. Okay. But you're still going to leave a mark. You can try to use a wipe or you can just say it's not going to work and put a sticker over it. That's yes. So that is what you do if there's a mistake. Okay. Because you'll have a mistake. You'll have a mistake. You'll have a mistake. <laughs> it's just one of those things. And this is one of those products that makes me nervous to use because I do my layouts in a certain way. I go by mood and feel. You know, when I'm done with a page, I'm done with a page. And then when I add this embellishment and then say if there's something like a mistake or it didn't come out right <laughs> and it didn't come out right, then I got to rethink something and do something, pull something. So again, you know. Or what about when you made a beautiful card and you spent so much time working on a coloring and image and then so again it's one of those things but I will say the more you use it the more you get used to it and you know but still I've used these for a couple years and you see how especially this brown look at that there you go so but I do like the gloss metallics not so much okay I think that was all of my notes yes I will have the links below I hope this answered a few questions oh I'll talk about one other thing uh, but I hope that did answer a few questions about the Nouveau crystal drops you have to remember within the crystal drops category there is metallic and there is gloss gloss to me is a much better product metallics not so much but every once in a while you know you, you get a piece of corn in the field and it works good, okay? So, that is that, okay? Now, the only thing I did want to say is that most people that are disappointed is because they wanted enamel dots. Nothing will ever replace enamel dots. They are what they are. This is a different type of embellishments, just like liquid pearls, just like stickles, okay? Three different products, actually, four different products. Crystal drops, liquid pearls, stickles, and enamel dots. They are all different, okay? Don't expect any of them to be the same, because they're not. And I think that was a disappointment. We all, in the beginning, thought, oh, this is going to be a good replacement for enamel dots. It's a good product, sometimes, <laughs> but it does not replace enamel dots. No. That is the short of it. Okay. Now, I did want to talk about something, if you wanted to try, since we're talking about this type of category. Okay, and I'm going to move all those, because they will dry, and I will throw them away. Yes. Okay. So, the clogs, that's not a good thing to deal with, but every once in a while, you know, you don't have clogs. Okay, so the only thing I want to talk about is if you wanted to make pearl reeds. Now, if someone wants me to go in more detail about pearl reeds, I will, but this is something else I have played with. Okay, and so that is perler beads that I have melted down to make enamel dots. Okay, worked great. Look how many I have, minimal amount of effort. Now, my sister has tried these. She absolutely cannot take the smell. No, so I think she tried one batch and her hobby said no. <laughs> no, did it smell up my kitchen? No. But then you're talking to someone who likes the smell of gasoline. <laughs> yes, I like the smell of lilacs and I like the smell of gasoline. <laughs> so the smell of these, I didn't think was very bad at all. But I think maybe, again, it depends on how big your space is, how small your space is. And I had windows and doors open. Okay, I wouldn't do this in the winter. No, I did it in the spring when the windows and doors were open. Now, this turned out very much. Look how much I got. I mean, and this was just, a, you know, maybe 10 batches. Ugh. But there's some tips and tricks along with the pearl or beads. Okay, now my problem is I can't find an adhesive that works on these. Now, glossy accents work, but they pop off. And to me, glossy accents is the creme de la creme of adhesives. I mean, I use that stuff for metal, and it works. But for my pearl or beads, no, they pop off. So I'm still looking for a replacement for that. So if you use pearl or beads, and they are very secure in your pages please share with me below what you use okay now with that those are perler beads okay I just love playing with that <laughs> okay now I'll show you something else these may I'll put them on the lid these are pony beads 
okay? Now, that's a honkin', okay? It's not an enamel dot, it's a pony bead, okay? But it gives you the resemblance of an enamel dot, okay? Those turned out very good for me, too, okay? And I have a whole bag of them. Yes, okay. So if someone wants me to go in more detail about that someday, you know I will, because I love playing with color, okay? So I wanted to talk about that a little bit because when Crystal Drops came out on the market, People got so excited and then the excitement went away so quick because it's not what we wanted. We wanted, <laughs> let's be honest, what we wanted was a cheaper alternative to those. We haven't found it. <laughs> no, haven't found it. You know. Now, like I said, you can go to a certain off-seas place <laughs> and you can find them cheaper. Okay, But there's a downfall to that and I have never done that because I don't want certain information overseas. No, because you just don't know. I've had my bank information compromised enough, like five times. No, I don't, I don't, I don't try to do that. So, but if you used a prepaid credit card, I don't see what the problem is. I just haven't done that. Okay. But I'm all about finding these at a cheaper price. Now, sometimes with Facebook groups and clubs and things like that, you can do group buys, which I've been a part of a couple group buys. That is an excellent way to get enamel dots cheaper, okay? But, you know, again with those, were I, would I say these were the quality that came out with a manufacturer's collection? No, they weren't. They were cheaper, but they were also made cheaper. So you have to consider that, okay? We love these, but the best thing you can do is look for sales. And I'm gonna plug a store right now, Scrapbook Generations, Black Friday sales and their uh, National Scrapbook Day sales. That's when I loaded up on things for my inventory, both times of the year, because they have awesome sales and sometimes enamel dots as part of those sales. Yes. So I will put Scrapbook Generations in the link below. So Black Friday will be coming before you know it and they have awesome sales twice a year. So make sure you check that out and buy something for me because I'm on a spending freeze. Yes. Okay. So that probably got long, but that's okay. We were talking about review the supply. I wanted you to know the ins and the outs. There's pros and cons. It depends on your style. It depends on what you like. It depends on if you want to wait for them to dry. It depends on if you want to take them to a crop. This is a no, 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 it's just not, it's not worth the hassle. No. Where are you going to lay them to dry? And then how are you going to get them home? No, it doesn't work. Okay. So that's all I have for today for talking about beautiful colors <laughs> of these Nouveau crystal drops. Okay. If you have any questions, link them below because I can guarantee you my subscribers would have the answer to that. <laughs> yes. They're very informative, very knowledgeable, and very awesome. Okay. So that's all I have for today. And come back to RTS because you never know what we're going to learn. Bye.